all right guys so in this particular video what i'm going to show you uh, so that's the advanced version of dotnet core microservices course which is uh, built on dotnet core 8 and uh, you know angular 18 right so as you can see from this architecture diagram itself so this is the entire uh, architecture which you are going to build from the scratch which is going to embrace all these technology stacks which has been listed over here apart from that you are going to you know see that uh, more of technology stacks as well right uh, because there are uh, you know there are fine uh, stuffs which is going to you know plug and play there as well so which you will also going to embrace that right and this is just the high level architecture so let me just explain you that and on the left hand side which you can see is that angular app which is going to come here right so this also will be building from scratch obviously this is going to take the uh, token from azure ad earlier in the earlier version of dotnet 6 uh, we were using this identity server so in dotnet 8 what i have done here is this is going to be replaced with azure ad and azure api gateway is uh, replacing that oscillate api gateway other than that uh, this is following this all these microservices is going to follow the clean architecture uh, and um, you know like uh, catalog is uh, uh, based on uh, mongodb right so this is that uh, database which it is going to interact with uh, likewise basket is going to interact with redis and then discount is going to uh, interact with postgresql and ordering api is with, uh, with that sql server so i'm just uh, trying uh, to get you know all different technology stacks from different pond and trying to put that same into the same pond so that you can understand like how to plug and play different tech stacks together and together achieve a single course right where in this case we are uh, building an e-commerce app uh, so that's the whole idea behind this microservices because you know in in the microservices landscape there are you know distributed teams so some team is working from a different center and some team is working from a different uh, you know uh, country itself right so in that particular case they are free to you know uh, complete the functionality in at their choice of technology right so in this particular case although we have used dotnet but it could have been a few of these let's say catalog is done in java basket is done in golang discount is in uh, .NET core ordering is maybe in python so it could be the case right so although we are having in this case is .NET itself so i'm just giving you an example plus it's also going to follow this pub sub pattern which you can see here the message broker in terms of rabbit mq which is going to be uh, have this message uh, coming from this basket api and that is consumed by ordering api so everything you will be seeing from the scratch and you will be building from the scratch having said that if i just uh, give you a glimpse of that that uh, what is the thing we are doing here right so let me just start you from the scratch here right so these are that uh, swagger endpoints which you can see here like once you are running uh, from that docker right you can individually run all the same so uh, that is up to you but these are the things which i'm running at the moment from you know docker itself and you can you know you can try any of these endpoints and that will work uh, perfectly fine right so let's say if i just go ahead and try this out so if i just go down here right and uh, let's try this version one and let's execute this so there are multiple versions of that as well like uh, in, in terms of basket api you will get to see that how to apply versioning so this is just a case of like that how that um, data is going to be presented over here right and uh, then let's say you have this basket uh, which is going to come over here right and in, in in terms of basket we are having two versions of api right so that also you will get to see like how to apply versioning on top of that in case if any of the api is getting retired so you, you will get get to see that how to apply cross-cutting concerns uh, everything over there then we have the other point in point which is uh, from that uh, you know discount perspective which is basically uh, hosted on um, grpc platform which is embracing basically http2 uh, so this is going to have the interaction between basket and discount uh, so that is going to be the binary protocol so that's why this no swagger uh, stuff is going to be over here right so now the other piece is ordering API which you can see here right so this is the factor of that different ordering right so this is what is currently is in purpose like you can see that how is this coming into a picture at the same time you can also see that uh, for container management what i have used here is that portainers right so portainer.io is a significant tool which will uh, give you a glimpse of that how many containers are running at the moment from that particular registry this is going to you know put that into um, into your uh, 
like uh, dashboard itself like uh, what are uh, containers are running and which are in which state right so this is what it is uh, giving you a glimpse of that so you see that uh, these many containers are currently running like basket api basket db catalog api catalog db likewise uh, from all different apis and then from uh, infrastructure perspective with the elastic search kibana you know uh, then we have this uh, pg admin from that uh, postgres uh, you know if you like to uh, visualize that particular data so that's what it's everything is there right so and uh, it is also giving you a glimpse of that like which one is working and which one is not working in this case right so everyone is working and is in healthy state as well now this is that glimpse of your uh, client portal which is running on the angular application itself which you can see which is uh, currently done with angular 18 itself right so this is going to give you uh, so this is the final bit of that application like how do you create an application how do you want to embrace that and you will see this entire life cycle of that like let's say you like to you know uh, page through that uh, between different items and you see this fetching results i have put a purposeful delay for there to show that what kind of different widgets are also used let's say you like to add any of these to the basket right so you can definitely go ahead and add this item to the basket so for the very first time what will happen this is going to warm up your db right so this is going to be the first transaction so once this is done right so subsequent transactions will be uh, pretty uh, fast right so that is what it's let's say if i just add this one so you see that uh, two gets quickly added right so that's what it is and um, of course you can do the filtering from here as well like uh, let's say for adidas you would like to see all these uh, things in detail like so this is going to list you all let's say you are just interested in shoes itself right so you can just do this filtering so all related to your uh, <clears throat> uh, store which you can see from that whatever is going to be uh, from that particular perspective like how an e-commerce store should be so those uh, functionalities you will be building right from the scratch and wiring up with this angular piece here and of course this is going to take you to the basket functionality from here you can you know increment that <clears throat> particular piece or you can just delete that and here this will be you know automatically uh, taken into that consideration like what is the total amount and then you can check out uh, itself right so you will have those kinds of features already done here now let's talk about that uh, so this is the dotnet 6 version so there is a parallel version of running right so th this is dotnet 6 in case if you want to refer that one as well so you can refer that here you can see that identity server and oscillate api gateway which has been upgraded with uh, this one right which is raul sci 19 slash dotnet core microservices 8 which i have released uh, two days back itself and uh, that you can see the latest upgraded architecture which you can see and uh, at the same time you can see that uh, the links which are mentioned over here for all my courses are basically this is the course which i am talking about the very first one which is 51 hours of course basically so in that case uh, this all links are having coupon embedded so which you can see at the footer right which is coming over here so this coupon embedded so this is going to give you a complete discounted course which is there hosted on udemy itself now in case if you like to see that the updated coupon or if that is coupon is not updated so you can follow me on my uh, medium profile itself and here i will be having dedicated page for this one let's say this is the page for dotnet core 8 and this is the one for dotnet core 6 but the course is uh, pretty much merged into that one right so this is upgraded dotnet 6 one only thing which i haven't done is like um, so the dotnet 6 videos are intact and dotnet 8 videos are newly recorded so let's see uh, if you are having any um, project uh, requirements wherein you are working in dotnet 6 so you can refer to my dotnet 6 videos under the same course otherwise you can just follow the dotnet 8 videos and uh, build this from the scratch so if i have to show you that like how it's going to look at uh, so also let's see this is the cluster like uh, uh, i was talking about this as a landscape right so this is your eco shopping cluster from the kubernetes services from there you can see the workload right so if i just have to show you the workload so let's come into that workloads and uh, everything is hosted in kubernetes using the helm chart and this is coming up so just wait for a second 
so you see that like uh, everything is hosted here right from the services from that uh, you know the kubernetes perspective and from that infrastructure perspective everything is there right so these things you will be doing from scratch right so don't worry about that and uh, let me just tell you that how do you navigate this particular course right so this is the one so you, you see that this course is of 51 hours course right and here coupon is already applied so this is the price which is that's going on right and uh, of course here what you need to know right so if you see there are 31 more sections are there right and here uh, the piece which you need to see here right so whichever is annotated with dotnet 6 so these are the earlier videos let's say uh, you like to see this dotnet 6 as well so this is also intact right and uh, what i have done here is like you just need to restart from here right and these are uh, without annotation means it's the latest which is the dotnet 8 so you just need to go through that there is an angular 18 upgrade there is a uh, you know steps which is mentioned over here and uh, and uh, once you are done with that right so it's basically you just need to follow the same angular stuff which is uh, starting from here itself like building e-commerce uh, commerce and angular application so but basically it was done previously on angular 16 so now it's uh, updated to angular 18 and it will follow the same suite till helm installation and all our other the things which is uh, enabling service message to you and every other things so that you will follow the same things uh, there are few more upgrades are going to come here so i'll be putting those uh, accordingly i hope you have liked this particular session in case if you have any query do reach out to me uh, on any of my channels i'll help you with that and in case if you like that so let me know how you are liking the course it's pretty much available on that uh, Udemy itself Thanks for joining me.